I want to show you guys a Chrome extension that allows you to write personalized emails, LinkedIn messages, summarize text very, very efficiently. And this is all powered by ChatGPT. But the good thing is you don't actually have to go to the OpenAI website and you can actually just type a keyboard shortcut wherever you are on your Chrome page. So in today's video, I've actually partnered up with TextBlaze, which is a Chrome extension that is extremely useful in terms of making a redundant writing and tasks much faster. And the best part about it is that it comes with a free plan for everybody to use. And if you use my link down below in the description, you're actually able to get one month free version version of the pro. So as I've mentioned before, the extension name is called text blaze. And as you can see here, you can definitely download this extension today from Google Chrome. So here I am, I'm on the dashboard right now. And it says welcome to text blaze. And this is kind of like a little playground to try out all your different shortcuts. So for example, I have here um, a plain text that it comes with uh, like a little preset. And if I type in slash SIG or SIG here, um, it's actually able to type all this out without, you know, just typing it out manually, right? So if I type that in right here, I type SIG and boom, it just all comes out and I don't need to type, you know, this out manually. Now, what's extremely great about this extension is that it has an open AI command pack where it links to open AI and you can actually use these shortcuts to write a prompt to open AI, get that response back and then put it into that text field that you want. Also, before I start, let me just show you guys how you can actually activate this open AI command pack. So if you go over here to your snippets, you can actually click on any one of them and you scroll all the way down and you can actually have here and it says get more command packs. So as you do this, you would just want to hit get more command packs and then obviously you want to hit open AI for mine. It's already active and as, as I have linked my open AI stuff, but if you haven't yet, you can figure this. You want to get a key from open AI and make sure you paste that secret key in here. So for the first example, I want to show you, let's just do a personal customized email on how I want to be a software engineer and how I'm interested in working for a position at a company, right? So here I'm on text blaze. I've just made a new snippet called writing email and I made the shortcut slash email response. So I just type it in anywhere and it'll basically generate it for my, for me. So let's just start with this email by saying, Hey, and then I want the, you know, recipient's first name, right? So I want to get their first name. So I click over here and just hit their first name. And you can have different types. So if you're, you know, sending a mass email to different people, you can do multiple, but just for a single person, I just do single and I'm going to hit insert, right? So it's going to, it's going to be, Hey, you know, whoever it is, this is where I'm going to just put in open AI and I'm going to use this uh, command pack to generate me a text, write me a body of email. I'm going to do without the dear or sincerely right in the bottom of how I should be a software engineer working for this company format. Um, you could just hit text over here or form paragraph. It doesn't matter. It's just kind of how it's going to be displayed before you insert the snippet, pretty much save this and type it in, hit insert here. And I'm going to type in sincerely Jeremy. Okay. So here it is for privacy purposes. Obviously I'm just going to try to email myself and not like show you guys any other emails. And now you can see here that I have my first name and my last name on my email, right? So what's what, so if I just type that in email response, you can see here that it's actually generating that text for me. You see how it, it's actually able to get my, my uh, data here for the reci recipient. Obviously, if, if the recipient is somebody else, it's going to replace that with their first name. And then it tells you right here. And I have a strong background in developing software applications, yada, yada, yada. And then once I hit insert, you can see here that it automatically writes my email for me, right? So I was able to get the first name of the recipient, which in this case is me, because you know, this is it's just for myself. And the, all you have to do is just hit send. And what's cool about it is that whoever you send this to is going to be a unique email. You could always edit it out before you send it. And it just saves so much time in terms of writing emails, whether it's a meeting email, appointment, business email, school email, projects, whatever it may be. You can see how these shortcuts will actually save you a lot of time in terms of writing your email, especially how it has the open AI chat GPT integration. Okay, so next up, what I'm going to show you guys is how you can actually use this extension to make a shortcut to write a connect message to somebody on LinkedIn with their personal name. And it's actually able to read what they actually do and what the company is all about. Okay, so here's what I have for my LinkedIn connect message snippet. It actually writes pretty personalized connection requests. So what I have here is, hey, you know, later LinkedIn first name, whatever it may be. And I wrote down here on an open AI command to write a LinkedIn connection request, maximum 300 characters. And it, it just says right here, and then here is what they do. And it grabs their LinkedIn headline, right? And I wrote, write just a body without the greeting or signature, because I already wrote it here, uh, which is like, hey, their first name, and then like best my name, right? I'm on LinkedIn here, and I found someone's profile who is who does engineering at OpenAI. This is a public profile again. And I'm just going to hit connect here on the right. And when I click this connect button, um, obviously, I can add a note, right? And when I hit add note, I'm going to hit slash and I'm going to type in L I connect. 
and watch what it does. So it actually does, um, you know, hey, Adam, uh, you know, grabs their name. I'm, I'm a software engineer interested in learning more about OpenAI. I'd love to connect and learn about the work you're doing in the engineering space and then best and then my name. And all I have to do is just hit insert. You can see here how it makes a really short and sweet connect message on LinkedIn by just doing a simple, simple shortcut. And you can now see how this will save you a lot of time if you want to connect with a bunch of people on LinkedIn, but you just don't have the time to write all the personalized notes, right? Well, this command pack will literally help you out by just grabbing their headline, what they do, and why exactly you want to connect with them as well. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about the summarize feature that TextBlaze actually has to offer. But here I am, I just made a new snippet called summarize. I can make it summarize what I have on my clipboard, right? If I hit open AI here, which is on the top or on the bottom, click this and I do generate text, summarize this in one paragraph, right? And then I'm going to hit insert. So it doesn't have anything yet, but if you hit advanced editor right here and you put in the curly braces clipboard, curly braces what this is going to do is it's actually going to grab something from your clipboard what this means is that you can actually copy a whole news article and then when you type in slash summarize it will automatically just summarize that for you okay so here i am i'm on a news article from yahoo and it says you know astronomers discover one of the biggest black holes ever recorded it doesn't matter what the article is and it doesn't even matter if it is an article it just could be a long piece of text right so i'm going to go over here i'm going to just select this whole thing here i'm going to right click and hit copy over here and once I copy it, I can use this shortcut of summarizing it anywhere I want. It doesn't have to be an email, but in this case, I'm going to do it on the dummy email that I wrote earlier, just to show you guys what it exactly does. I can actually do slash summarize, which is a snippet that I wrote earlier. And you can see here that text plays actually just popped up. AI is generating the text. Boom. It summarized everything in one paragraph. And again, send that email to myself, right? Or to whoever it may be, or, you know, whatever it is that you want to summarize. And let's just say, for example, you don't want to summarize into a paragraph. You want to summarize it into like four bullet points, right? So instead of summarize this into one paragraph, you can do summarize this into four bullet points. And it's still going to grab that data from clipboard. And then again, when I go back to my email, I could send another reply to myself and do slash summarize again and check what it does. It actually writes it into four bullet points. I could hit insert and boom, it literally the summary of the article into my email without, you know, going to ChatGPT or OpenAI or anything like that. So again, this extension is called TextBlaze. There is, like I said, a free plan available and you can see for yourself how this extension will save you a lot of time in terms of writing stuff. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys all in the next video.